So I am in Troon, which is one of the nice neighborhoods in North Scottsdale. Also where they have a lot of rattlesnakes. You can look around, you can see why this is part of the properties where all these places are. So um, I have two diamondbacks, a young one and a decent sized adult. And what's nice is that they're both really healthy. We've really seen a lot of really sick, skinny diamondbacks lately. So it's great to see some that are doing good. So here they are, and only one of them is going back here. The other one um, I had because I was just barely caught him, and I got a call to come catch this other one really fast. So he'll probably go back a little later tonight. And again, they're all wet because this is. Last time they're going to see water for a little bit, so they get a soak and a drink. This will help a little bit since this is kind of stressful for them to have to go throw this when they thought they had their their summer figured out. for him is I'm just going to let it crawl off onto the bush. It's kind of neat because it has that diminished pattern near its rattle there too. His rattle is usually a lot louder than this. He's, uh, he's wet though and it doesn't work when it's wet. Or she rather. Looks like it's female. okay but I like to try to get them to into a bush or something like that before we let them go just because there's a lot of stuff out here that wants to uh, get to them there's lots of birds and coyotes and people occasionally I want to try to get them I've had people actually follow me out to places to try to kill the snake when they're done so harass a little bit here and try to get it to go into that bush and feel safe enough to turn around As soon as she sees a spot that she can actually get away from me, she'll just zoom in there like someone's sucking down spaghetti. She's looking. <laughs> 